Let's take a look at problem number 10. Uh, it says, which of the following functions has a graph with a slant asymptote? I'm going to take this a little bit further. Besides telling which ones do, I'm going to um, find a slant asymptote. Let's see if that's a true statement or if I'm lying to you. Um, I think that's probably true. I didn't want to do like four, <laughs> four of them, but there's only one of them looks like it has it. So for a slant asymptote, just to refresh your memory, The degree of the top, degree of the numerator, must be exactly one larger than the bottom. So exactly one larger than the degree of the bottom. Now, if it is, then how you find a slant asymptote, you use long division and drop the remainder. So as I look at this one, um, part A. Um, this is x the first, and then x the first down here. So degree of the top is 1, degree of the bottom is 1. So A does not have a slant asymptote. Now B, um, here we have a 6, uh, our largest degree is the largest power of x. So up here we have a 6, so the degree is 6, and down here we have 5, which is our largest power, so the degree is 5. So the degree of the top is exactly one larger than the bottom. So B actually has, has a slant asymptote. And um, C, the degree of the top is 5, degree of the bottom is 6. The uh, degree of the top must be exactly one larger than the bottom. Now this one, the third power is trapped with a squared, but if I were to multiply this out, I'd have x of 6 up on top. How you tell it is you take your largest exponent and you multiply it times the power out front. 3 times 2 is 6. Well, degree of the top is 6, degree of the bottom is 6, uh, that doesn't work. So only one is b. What is this, 10? Now I'm going to find our, um, our slant asymptote to show it. So we got uh, 4 x to the fifth plus 9x to the third plus 8 and dividing that into negative 9x to the sixth plus 3x to the third plus 5. Now, for long division to work out smoothly, and you can get by with it if you feel kind of comfortable with long division, you can get by without doing all of this. It has to be in standard form, period. And also, if you're missing any powers, you should put zero placeholders. So I got 4x to the fifth. I'm missing the x to the fourth, so I'll put a 0x to the fourth plus 9x to the third. I'm missing an x squared, so I got 0x squared. I'm missing an x, so 0x. And then my no x, the constant term, is there, so that's fine. Then inside, my largest power is the x of 6, so I got ne negative 9x of 6. I'm missing an x of the 5th, so I put a 0 placeholder. I'm missing an x of the 4th, so I put a 0 placeholder. Then I got my x of the 3rd, so 3x of the 3rd. I'm missing my x squared, so I got 0 placeholder. I'm missing my x, 0 placeholder, and then my no x at the end. You'll find if you put zero placeholders out front, as well as inside, that it makes your uh, division simpler, even though it looks harder. Okay, now this isn't going to be very easy. Um, we have to figure out what times uh, 4x to the fifth uh, gives us negative 9x to the sixth. Obviously, this wasn't designed to be one that you could um, uh, very easily do. This will be negative 9, 4 x. How do I know that? If I were to multiply this times this, the 4s would cancel and leave me the negative 9 on top. So if you got something bizarre like this, um, whatever number is here, the 4, goes in your denominator. And then whatever number is here goes up on top. Well, if I multiply this out, negative 9, 4 x times 4 x the fifth, the 4s cancel, that gives me negative 9 x the six. Negative 9, 4 x times 0 x the fourth gives me 0 x to the fifth. Negative 9 fourths x times this 9. Ooh, that's nasty. It gives us negative 81. 
fourths x to the fourth. Uh, negative nine fourths x times zero x squared gives me a zero x to the third. Negative nine fourths x times zero x gives me zero x squared. Negative nine fourths x times eight gives us negative seventy two uh, fourths. I know that reduces, but um, I'm gonna write it down first. Negative uh, seventy two fourths. Okay. Now we're gonna subtract that line, which means we'll put up the signs. That'll become positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive. Okay, negative 9x to 6 plus 9x to 6 drops away. That's gone. 0 minus 0 is gone. 0 plus 81 fourths, x to the fourth. And um, then 3x to the third minus 0, so that gives us 3x to the third. 0 minus 0 is 0, so that's 0x squared. 0 plus 72 fourths, and that reduces to 118x. And then I'll carry down the plus 5. Now, um, my degree here is 5. My degree here is 4. When your degree down here is lower than what you're dividing by, uh, this is your remainder. And uh, our instructions say drop the remainder. So our answer is going to be this right here. So our slant asymptote would be y is equal to negative 9 fourths x. Assuming my eyes didn't cross on these uh, fractions and numbers and so forth. Now again, that one is nasty. Don't don't like panic thinking that's uh, this is the type of problem you have to solve. Just uh, the important part is to uh, remember this this step here: use long division and drop the remainder. Because um, they weren't ac actually asking us to find it; they just wanted to identify which one had a slant asymptote. So 10b. Let's go check that, and that checks.